Hey scholars, welcome back to our ELA lesson. We're going to be working on ELA lesson video number two today. So the first thing I want to do is go over what an expository text is again. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we're going to look at Google Chrome. Okay. So here's expository text. Magnet's work is an expository text. So what an expository text does is it gives information about a topic and it can include text features. So we know that magnets work is an expository text because it explains facts about magnets. So some of the text features that we see in magnets work are subheadings. Here's a subheading right here. Magnets have poles. It's kind of like a title a title in the text, and then diagrams. So do you see how there's a diagram right here? It has North Pole and South Pole, which are labels to the diagram. And it shows us that unlike poles attract each other. All right, very good. OK. So we're gonna go over examples of expository text in class. I just wanted to give a brief overview to what an expository text is. All right, let's go ahead and look at the next activity, which is going to be oral language. So I'm just gonna to flip to it in my page. And here we do, here we have it. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do oral language in class because this is a class based activity. I mislabeled it in my book. So give me a second to flip to the next part. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at similes. So I'm going to flip over to my simile section in my book. I did see things regarding similes uh, in that one book I was in, but I want to give you guys some better examples than that. Almost there. All right, there we go. So figurative language, actually, I'm going to stop my share. Figurative language is like a word picture that helps the reader imagine how something looks, feels, or acts like. So a simile is an example of a figurative language. So a simile uses the words such as like and as to compare two unlike things. So what I want what we're going to do is we're going to identify simile by looking for the word like or as in a comparison. For example, she felt cold as ice. She felt cold as ice. If somebody feels cold as ice, what does that mean? It means that they're very cold and we're trying to say they're really cold because they're like ice. Are they actually ice? No, they're not actually ice. We're just explaining that they're cold enough to where we feel like it's ice, but it's not. It's not literal. So in order to find these similes, we have to understand how the author is comparing it to another object. So let's look at another one. Eat like a bird. So how do birds eat? Well, birds have beaks, so they peck at their food. So they eat little at a time. So if we're trying to say someone eats like a bird, it means that they pick at their food and it takes them a long time to eat. Do they, are they actually a bird? No, they're not actually a bird. They just eat slow enough to where you feel like they are, they're eating like a bird. That's our comparison. So if we're saying the sentence, Ed eats like a bird, we're comparing the way Ed eats to the way a bird eats. So that means he pecks at his food or he eats very little of his food. 
So what I'm going to do is it's asking us to go to page 185, which I believe is for our magnet book. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up our magnet book on the page. So give me just a quick second. I'm going to pause the recording for one sec. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And let's go ahead and look at this page right here. So I'm going to go ahead and start reading until we see a simile. If you see the simile before me, go ahead and point it out. Have you ever played with trains that have magnets? Sometimes you try to put two train cars together, but they repel. This means they push away from each other. Then you turn one of the cars around. The two cars snap together as quick as a wink. That's right. If you have played with these trains, you know it's true. So did you see the simile? I'll give you about two to three seconds to see if you can find that simile. Give you a hint, it's in the second paragraph. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the simile again. Two cars snap together as quick as a wink. The two cars snap together as quick as a wink. What am I trying to say there? Well, I'm trying to say that it's so fast that it's quicker if I winked at you. So it's faster than this action or it's as quick as that action. So what is it trying to say? It's trying to say the cars snap together really fast because it's as quick as a wink and a wink happens really fast. All right, so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go to page 187. All right, and we're, you're gonna work with this simile right here. The train appears to be moving as fast as lightning. I want you to explain to me why this phrase is a simile in your notebook or in your seesaw or in your whichever you use. You're going to record yourself or write down why you think what you think as fast as lightning means. All right, so I'm going to pause the video. Or I'm sorry, you can pause the video and when you finish, go ahead and start back up for the rest of the lesson. Okay. All right, and we're back. All right, so the last thing we're gonna be working with is action verbs. So I forgot to do action verbs in the last video. So we're gonna work with day one action verbs here. And then in class, we'll work on day two action verbs. Okay, so an action verb is a word that shows an action. I'll get my iPad out so I can show you guys examples. An action verb is a word that shows an action. So it's a verb, verb is what you do. If you remember those old Nike commercials or if your parents remember those, it's verb, it's what you do. Actually, it's not Nike, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just a video. I forgot that it wasn't Nike, but I remember those videos. So let's go ahead and Pull up a little example. Okay, I have to mirror my screen. There we go. Okay, hey, that connected pretty quick. Sometimes my internet's a little wonky over on the side of the house. Okay. So I'm going to display two sentences and we're going to identify the action verb in the first sentence. So our first sentence is Chad jumps a rope. Chad jumps a rope. And our second one is Sarah sings a song. 
Remember, a sentence always needs a capital letter and a period at the end. All right. Now I'm going to think about the sentence. Who is this sentence about? Well, I know it's about Chad because he's jumping the rope. And what is the action Chad does? What does Chad do? Well, Chad jumps, right? Chad jumps. Okay, it looks like my, looks like it's lagging a little bit, but that's okay. So jumps is the action verb. So let's look at the second one now. Who is performing the action? And Sarah sings a song. Well, Sarah's performing the action. And what action is Sarah doing? Sarah sings. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple more sentences up and we're gonna practice this again. The magnet pulls the door closed and the rabbit hops away. So the magnet pulls the door closed. Who is this sentence about or what is this sentence about? The magnet. And what is the magnet doing? The magnet pulls. Usually what the sentence is about and what the sent and what the sentence does is around the same area not always but there's a lot of times where that's true all right now what we're going to do is you guys are going to try this one on your own so i want you to in your seesaw or your notebook i want you to put a I, i'm sorry i want you to put the words who for who is this sentence about? And you're gonna say who this sentence about. And then what are they doing? I want you to write that. And then I want you to tell me what they are doing. So just like here, the who here was the magnet and the what they are doing is poles. So you're gonna figure the at out with the rabbit hops away. All right. So you, you're going to look at that. And after you do that, we will continue on. So go ahead and pause your video. Okay, now I'm gonna stop my share. And that will be the last part of the video. So I wanna remind you that if you got this far, I'm very proud of you. Keep doing it, keep going, because these videos are really important. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch them. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you when, I'll see you tomorrow, because today's Thursday and I need to do the video. I mean, and I'm done with my videos, but I'll see you on Friday. But I'll see you whenever, if you watch this on a different day, that's not tonight. All right, have a good day, bye.